Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing and assembly video. <laughs> so thank you guys so so much, all right, for continuing to support my channel and my videos, all right. So if you guys, you know, just if you guys new to this channel or you guys stumble upon this video by accident, all right, on my face, we most probably you, you guys are gonna be seeing this on Facebook, all right. So uh, click the like button, click the subscribe button, all right. I will try to put out as many videos as I can, all right, under this movement control order make me realize that I can brush up on my video editing skills and come up with different ideas of what to do all right for my videos and whatnot so if you guys have any ideas for me to do okay you guys know what to do all right comment on comment down below as to what you guys want me to do okay so as the title suggests okay you guys would have known you guys checked out the first video already all right if you haven't click it right here okay i hope i get this right click this right here all right to so check out the previous video of me building the first chinese new year to 2020 lego set all right so without further ado Let's see this. Okay, this is the second set. Most probably you guys have uh, seen my previous video and then you guys know that I introduced this set. This is the Chinese New Year Temple Fair set. You see, you've got, you have the big temple right here and all these different minifigs, all right? I think this is by far the most minifig I have ever built, all right, thus far. Uh, I do have one that I think I have a lot of minifigs. It's up there, actually, the death, the, 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 the Imperial Star Destroyer, the, the Imperial Starship, all right, from the Lego set. I got it for my birthday, but it was years ago before I did any of this vlogging assembly stuff, all right? So, this is the set. It, this is by far the most uh, the, the, the most expensive out of the two, or right, it's 499 actually. Okay, it's about 500 and this is about it. Let me see if I can stand up and introduce it to you guys, alright? So hopefully the lighting is all good and all. Alright, so you can just, you guys can see all these different different varieties right here. It is by far the biggest and um, uh, the, the biggest most spread out set that uh, I've ever done so far. Alright, so this is gonna be fun, alright? Uh, I know this this video could have been put out like months ago during Chinese New Year or so, but this is the only time that I have to assemble this. Okay, and these are all the mini figures that we are going to have. Okay, not sure if you guys can see it, but this is the little panda. Okay, this little panda right here, and all the little mini figs that we're gonna be doing today. Not sure if you guys can see it or not. <clears throat> so yeah, this is about it. Okay, uh, like I said, this is this was an Asia exclusive set. All right, it's a spring festival, Chinese year spring festival. So without further ado, let's unbox this thing. Okay, so let's uh, as usual take out the sticker that's here. Okay, as you may have noticed, I still have the box right there. Okay, the, the, the previous set. You know, the, with, with Legos, I tend to be a bit attached, alright? I I do not want to like throw away the box, particularly. I'm not sure why. Uh, uh, maybe it's a holding behavior. Okay, I gotta, you know, learn from Mary Kondo from time to time. If that's not bringing me joy, up they go. Alright, so finally I got it open. Okay, let's just suck it all out like that. Ooh, okay, no more. Okay, so let's put this out of frame. So previously, I think they were like uh, five, five packs or about six packs, right? So let's see how many packs we have. We have one, we have nine, we have six, we have five, we have eight, four, two, so let's arrange this properly. Let's arrange this properly and then we have the one set, nine, one as well, three, seven, four, oh, barely feel my table, and then we have this manual right here, okay, so you see, it covers my entire table right here, alright, and then uh, I promise I'm not going to screw up the time lapse this time, alright, previously I set the time lapse to be, uh, I was overly ambitious with the time lapse, so hopefully this time I have a much better time lapse for all of you, alright, so this is what we're going to assemble, so the next time I check in with you guys will be when it's all done, alright, so I'll see you guys again soon after I've completed all of this, alright, see ya! So 
I've completed this the whole thing. <laughs> Whew, took me so long. I think it took me about four or five hours at least to complete all of this. So let me just show you a few things. Now this is so cute. Look at this. This is so cute. <laughs> Okay. And all these little mini figs, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 mini figs all together. And this is the highlight right here, this, this behemoth of air construction. And it's the attention to detail is just very nice. You see all of these things? Right? I do not want to like remove it. Okay, but I gotta say, it's been an agonizing process to me because a lot of these uh, pieces are like really really small and I have like fat fingers and then it's like uh, I have to like really put it in and it hurts uh, and then I really hate like small little things you see all of this these are like individual pieces that I have to like put in individually <laughs> I really don't like it at all but um, you know, I had fun trying to do things. You know, the, the last time Lego used to, used to be a challenge for me. I don't really love to do Legos, but you know, uh, when I grew up, it, it, find, it finally taught me a bit of patience, a little bit of uh, you know, a lot of patience, basically, a lot of patience, a lot of self belief, you know, a lot of um, self perseverance, and all of this stuff. You know, just never giving up. You know, I my back hurts. You know, I have to like bend over and stretch for a little bit, but overall, it's great i mean at the end of the day the end result is really really good i mean the attention to detail so all of this is it's a really good piece to be displayed uh, during chinese new year all right if you have the space for it of course you may want to like combine i mean like put it nicely you know and this combined together with the set that i previously did and the chinese new year set i mean the lunar uh, new year set uh, last year that i did it will be phenomenal Alright, so thank you guys so so much for joining me. Alright, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel if you love what you see. Alright, hopefully this time the time lapse is gonna be good. Alright, so leave your comments down below. What do you think of this set? Alright, what what else do you want me to do? Would you like to see me do more vlogs? Would you like to see me do more travel videos or whatnot? Alright, so yeah, just leave your comments down below. Like if you are seeing this on Facebook. Don't forget to share it, you know, and if you are subscribed to my YouTube, you know, just click the notification bell on, you know, so whenever I upload anything, you'll be able to you know get notifications sorry and if you're new to my channel or you know you, you saw some of my work and you like it you know don't forget to subscribe and like this video so much all right so thank you guys so so much for joining me and i'll see you guys again soon all right bye bye